Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and I do a lot of cooking inside of the Ninja Foodie, but one thing that I never really touched on was how to go about actually cleaning the thing. Now, it's all a pretty simple process, but if you are curious about how to clean your Ninja Foodie, that's what this video is going to be about. So we got my sink here, cleared everything out, and uh, just for starters, here's the uh, ceramic pot that comes with the Ninja Foodie. Yesterday, I made the berry upside down cake. I'm gonna leave a card so that you can check out that video if you want. But that left a whole lot of sugary berry melted fruit and cake parts residue inside of the bowl. Now, fortunately, this thing is nonstick, so it's extremely easy to clean. But I just have it soaking here, you know, just because. So cleaning this, you can hand wash it if you want. Or if you want to stick this in the dishwasher, you can do that too. But it's all just very simple stuff. Soap and water, and you can just get it clean. I'm just going to pour all this water out. And just see like you know this is what it looks like now just got a little few bits and pieces still in there so i'm just going to wash that out using one of these things here um, you can put dish soap inside of it and then you can press this little button it just sort of pushes the soap out so that you can just clean your dishes that way pretty handy thing so i'm just going to clean this using this thing and it's all pretty simple stuff and you see this thing is making suds already. So you don't have to always reach for the dish soap. So I think that this is pretty handy. And then you can just let it air dry if you want, but I just like to grab a paper towel and wipe it dry so it can be ready for the next time that I use it, which these days <laughs> is extremely, extremely soon. One thing that you don't want to do is use any kind of scouring pad with this. You don't want to use anything that can scratch the ceramic basket. I have a few scratches in mind just from, you know, using it so much, but nothing too major. But when you're cleaning it, you definitely just want to use something soft and non-abrasive so you won't damage the pot. And if you do damage the pot, you can buy another one on Ninja's website. So the ceramic basket, that's the easy part. What about the other parts? Well, let's take this the pressure cooking lid now the pressure cooking lid can absorb a lot of smells from the things that you pressure cook and a lot of that smell is going to be absorbed by this silicone ring that surrounds it so there's some parts in here that you can clean one of them is going to be this anti-clog cap right here and it's really simple to just take off all you got to do is just get your hand around there your fingers and just give it a squeeze and just pull it right off that's it just pull it off and then we can go ahead and clean this uh, do not take apart the assembly that holds like this red float valve down and this thing do not take these apart but you can clean the um, anti-claw cap that i just did and this silicone ring all you have to do is just take it off so just grab it gently and just start to lift it up. Just kind of go at a moderate pace. Don't go too fast. You don't want to damage anything. And it is gone. There you go. While we're here, just give this thing a sniff and smell all of those stews, all of the pressure cooked chicken, the steaks, everything is absorbed in here. So you can just clean it just like you would clean anything else. I wanna be able to get my hands wrapped around it, so I'm just gonna be using this dishcloth to clean it for me. And by the way, you can put this in the dishwasher if you want. So if you're noticing that your Ninja Foodie lid has a smell to it, most of the time it's going to be because of the odors absorbed by this seal. So just clean this off nice and good, soap and water. And there's other solutions as well. You know, if you wanna use like vinegar or, you know, something that's very green and eco-friendly, that's fine too, whatever works for you. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you clean it, that's all that matters. And as for the lid itself, we're just gonna clean it just like we do anything. You know, I'm just going to take my towel already saturated with soap and water and I'm just going to give it a clean. I'm going to be kind of gentle around where the 
float valve thing is for the pressure cooker release. Just going to be real careful around those. I don't want to damage those. But everything else, we're just going to give a good wipe down. And I'm going to go into the little cracks and crevices with my fingers. Heck, and while we're here, clean the other side too. It may not be coming in contact with food, but since we're here, we might as well just go ahead and do it. And this does have a tendency to attract like dust. So if somebody comes into your house and they see their, your ninja foodie and they're like, ooh, let me take a look at that. And they see that it's got a whole bunch of dust particles on it. They might go, oh, okay. So just impress them by cleaning the front as well. And now it's time for reassembly. The funnest part of doing this. All right, so I got the anti-claw cap right here. And it's just real simple. Just put this back over where you got it from and just push it down. You know, just that easy. It's good to go. And now we got to put the seal back on. So if you're wondering, well, I can't remember which way I took the seal out. Does it go this way or does it go that way? And the answer is, it doesn't really matter. It can go on both ways. And I'll show you in a second. So all you got to do is just line it up, make sure that it is inside of the little gap, and then just press it in section by section. I found it easier to just kind of get your finger in this middle part kind of like this part here and then that makes it easier for you to just press along the edges all the way around all right cool so you see that that's installed that way so let's just take it out and we're going to flip it around and do the exact same thing. Flip it around so you see it doesn't really matter which direction you put it in. As long as it goes in. All right. And we're done. So the main unit of the Ninja Foodie, you're going to have to clean by hand. Do not put this thing in any kind of water. Nothing is protecting these electronics from water. You always have to hand wash this. Just with a damp cloth or whatever and just wipe it around. But don't forget that there is also a condensation collector in the back of this thing. Hardly ever use it, but you can just pull that right out and give this a good rinse and pop it back in. So this is the worst part about trying to clean this thing. And it's honestly the thing that you should keep up on most because lots of food and residue gets caked on there and it just makes it harder for you to clean it if you let it go for an extended period of time. So it's gonna be this metal grate here that's uh, over the heating element. And you know, you just, I'm just gonna clean that just with, you know, a cloth and some water, you know. Ideally, you would do it every time you use it while everything is still fresh and easier to remove. But if you don't, then you know, you're gonna have to put a little bit more elbow grease in it in the future. Now, these, it has screws around here, but in my research, I have not seen anything from Ninja that tells you how you can take that off or even if you can take that off or even if you should take that off because there's going to be some buildup behind here as you can see that um, you really just can't get to with a really a traditional tool so that may just be something that you're just going to have to leave alone um, because Ninja hasn't said if you can take those off or not to get to everything back there but I am not going to worry about it I'm just going to clean this part here since that's the part that's most easily accessible to us and honestly what kind of appliance requires you to take it apart using tools in order for you to clean it doesn't seem like that's something that they would want you to do so what about the other accessories well these are already clean but i would just go over how i clean them one is going to be the reversible rack now, if you try to hand clean this, it's going to be a bit of a pain because there's so many 
places where food droppings and little bits and stuff can just get in between all of this and just trying to get each individual bar to try to clean it and then trying to clean this it gets annoying i think that the best thing to do would be to throw this inside of the dishwasher and when you do you'll see that you won't have that brown tinge um, if you wash it in the dishwasher so you can get it nice and clean and sparkly and then for the cook and crisp basket this is almost as easy to clean as the big ceramic pot because um, it's also ceramic and things come off of it pretty easily. The you know, only downside is since it does have holes at the bottom, you could get some stuff that gets stuck in between there. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So it's easy enough to clean. But the worst freaking thing to clean besides that metal grate is this diffuser attachment that goes on the bottom of the cooking crisp basket. Because this is not ceramic. Um, this is plastic, I believe. And things really get caked up on here, especially going to be air frying chicken and stuff. It all comes down here. It gets caked on and you have to just scratch it off. You have to <laughs> scratch it off. So, and they get caught in these grooves along here and it's just, it's just the worst. So along with the wire rack, I would recommend also putting this inside of the dishwasher as well. And the cooking crisp basket if you have enough room because why not just put them in there they go together as a set and then you can get this clean but hand cleaning this pain in the butt but that's pretty much it that's how i go about cleaning the ninja foodie and it's just really one of those things where if you are very diligent about keeping up on some of the more difficult things to clean like the wire rack and the metal grate that covers the heating element of the air crisping lid you'll realize that maintaining this thing is pretty easy to do but if you ever did need some re replacement parts like if you needed to get a new ceramic basket or another ring for the pressure cooker lid or a anti-claw cap that you may have lost or damaged or whatever like that you can just go to ninja's website and they have a lot of different um, parts and accessories that you can buy so that you don't have to worry about getting a whole new machine just because of one little thing that may not be working out for you anymore so uh, if you have any cleaning tips for the Ninja Foodie, go ahead and please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll be really interested to see how you guys go about cleaning yours, but that is how I clean mine. So thank you all so much for watching this video. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.